Hi everybody, this is John Lords from DiscoverSkills.com back with another video blog in our series on taking control of your Windows desktop. Now, first thing you'll probably notice today is that I've gotten rid of all those messy icons that I that you've seen in the last couple of videos. And in fact, I have taken my own suggestion and right here inside this little folder that I created, and you know we talked about this in the last video, uh, but inside this folder, if I double click everything from my desktop that you saw earlier is sitting in here. So I've cleaned things up a little bit so that you don't have to sit and stare at those during those videos. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today was this area down in the right hand corner of your screen that is called the notification area. Uh, it used to be called the taskbar tray uh, but because we often look down here and see small messages pop up about upgrading or it gives us information about what programs are running, um, it's now called the notification area. But here's the deal. When you look down in this little area, you will see small icons that if you mouse over them, you will see small little bubble help tell you what they are for and most of what you see down here are what are called memory resident programs and that simply means that these are small programs that constantly run in the background whenever you start up your computer uh, to help you do something probably one of the most common icons you'll see down here um, is your volume control first of all for your speakers but also your antivirus program will have an icon down here now with Windows 7, it's, it's, it hasn't changed a lot from Windows XP and Windows Vista, but you will notice, for example, that in the notification area, we do now have a system clock that also includes the date. Okay, it never used to include the date, but it does now. Um, and you'll also notice here, too, that when you look down in this area, okay, um, there is, in my case, a little arrow. Okay, whenever you first install Windows, the notification area is set up so that it only takes up a small part of the of the of the actual taskbar. And what it does is if you have more icons than will fit in the small area, it gives you this small arrow that if you click it will show you the rest of the icons in the system area in the notification area. So for example, I don't see my antivirus program here, but if I click this arrow and pull up this menu, I can see there's my Norton 360, which is what I use for antivirus, along with some other icons of other things that I have running. Okay, so point is, when you look down here, if you want to see all of your icons, you click this little arrow, and it will show you the rest of them. Okay, now, second thing is, is that with some of the icons that you see down here, um, right clicking will bring up additional options about that icon. For example, uh, this little blue box that you see here, you may not have this on your computer, but this is an icon for a an online cloud service I use called Dropbox. And if I put my mouse on top of it and right click, you'll see a menu shows up that is specific for this Dropbox icon, and I can do certain things directly from it here. If, for example, I go back here, click the arrow so that I can see my antivirus program, and right-click on it, you'll see that these are various options I have for my antivirus program. All right, so the point is, again, this notification area shows you icons of programs that are running in the background. And by right-clicking, you can oftentimes pull menus up that allow you to change the way those programs are working. Now, what I really wanted to get to today was talking about customizing this area, and this is something that's fairly new for Windows 7. The customize area means you are the one who decides whether most of these icons show up or not. To get to the customizing screen, I have a couple different ways I can do it. First of all, if I just come down and click the arrow, you probably already saw that there was a customize option right here. And if I click on it, it will take me into that customization window. Now, I'll show you this in just a second, but I'm going to close it for right now, and I want to show you the second way to get into this customized notification window. If I mouse over the taskbar and right click and then go to Properties, it pulls up a window that has tabs for me modifying the taskbar, the start menu, and toolbars. In this case, since I was clicked on the, t I had clicked on the taskbar, that's the tab that is visible immediately. 
There's different things we can do to the taskbar here, and we'll leave that for, for a, another video. But right here is what I want to focus on. Here is where it says Notification Area. If I click on Customize, I will get exactly the same window you saw just a moment ago, where I can customize the way this works here. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this window. Um, the first thing I want you to notice is right down here at the bottom. Notice that there's a checkbox that says always show all icons and notifications on the taskbar. If I check that, notice that I don't even have to leave this window, but look down here at the bottom. See how suddenly now I can see all of these icons? Okay, let me go back here and uncheck it. Watch what happens. It now again is collapsed and I can see the little up arrow where I have to go to see the rest of the icons. Okay, So that's the first thing you might want to consider to do or not to do. Now I'm going to check it again. Notice that, that I've done that. Now, okay, up on the top of the screen, all of these options have changed. Okay, The reason that happened is because this area up here is where you can actually say I do or don't want to see these on the notification area. This option says always show all icons which overrides all these up here. Okay, So the point is with this checked I can't do anything with the icons individually. If I uncheck it now I can go to each individual icon that appears in the notification area and I can make changes to it. So for example let's use our volume control as the example here. For volume control here's a little menu that says right now it says show icon and notifications. If I click on the drop down for it I can choose to hide the icon and the notifications. Now watch the corner as I click on this. Notice no volume control. Okay. If I click on this and then say only show notifications, the volume control still is not there, but if that little program were to have something that it needs to notify me about, it would appear down here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this back on because I like having the volume control and I want to scroll down here for just a moment and look at my antivirus program. This is maybe going to be a better example. Okay. Notice here it says only show notifications. Okay. Basically what that means is, is that this is only going to pop up and show me notifications on the main bar here when they're available. If I choose to show icon and notifications, notice what it does it makes it visible right here all the time on the bar. If I choose again to hide icon and notifications, now it's gone and if Norton or if Semantic Antivirus comes up with something it needs to tell me, it will not notify me. When I have only show notifications chosen, it doesn't appear on the main bar, but it will pop up and tell me if something happens. Okay. Now, yes, it still is right here. Okay, but when it talks about showing, what we're talking about is showing right here on the main bar. So here's the point. By coming into this window, you can literally affect the kinds of things that you see down here. And if there are certain icons that you you've decided you really don't need to see, Okay, so for example, um, here's the Adobe Updater, and Adobe, of course, creates the Adobe Reader, and they've got Adobe Flash, and so on, and I bet a lot of you have probably seen the little icon down there that says there's an Adobe Update available. Well, if I come up here and say Show Icon and Notifications, notice that little icon is there all the time, even though it doesn't need to be. In fact, really, the only time I ever want to see anything from this little icon is when there is an Adobe update that needs to be done. Okay, so by choosing to only show notifications, I clean it off my bar, and the only time I'm going to see anything is when there is something it needs to tell me. And that is something that you may want to consider doing for a lot of your icons that really you don't need to see down here all the time. Okay, the ones that you do like to see make sure that they're there. there. Make sure that you choose show icon and notifications. If you just want to see the notifications and don't want to see these here all the time, just choose only show notifications. Okay? 
And that's pretty much what the notification area is all about. Now, again, as always, and I'm just going to click these close, but if you have any other questions or if you'd like to see other learning videos that we produce, you are certainly welcome to visit www.discoverskills.com. And, of course, I always love to hear from you, so if you'd like to drop me an email message, my address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. We will continue with our series that we are calling Taking Control of Your Windows Desktop. Uh, next time we will be talking about changing the desktop background and how you can customize it. In fact, that's what you've seen me do here. I've got my little company logo on my desktop. And you can pretty much change this desktop background to include any kinds of pictures or colors or whatever it is that you would like to see back there. So that's what we'll be getting to in the next video in our series called Taking Control of the Windows Desktop. Thanks again for listening. I hope this was helpful for you today. And I will see you in the next video.